but they all inspired the winners of this year's IG Nobels, the prize for comical scientific achievement. Held less than a month before the actual Nobel Prizes are announced. Thursday's 32nd annual IG Nobel Prize ceremony was a pre-recorded affair for the third year in a row, webcast on the Annals of Improbable Research magazine's website. The winners, honored in 10 categories, also included scientists who found that when people on a blind date are attracted to each other, their heart rates synchronize and researchers who looked at why legal documents can be so utterly baffling, even to lawyers themselves. Master of Ceremonies Mark Abrahams poses with the 2022 IG Nobel Prize at his office in Cambridge. Mass the IG Nobel Prize is a spoof award run by the science humor magazine Annals of Improbable Research. And then make them think. The name of the award is a pun on the Nobel Prize, which it parodies, and on the word ignoble, not noble. The IG Nobel Prizes are usually presented by Nobel laureates in a ceremony at the Sanders Theater, Harvard University. Even though the ceremony was pre-recorded, it was first awarded in 1991 to celebrate 10 unusual or trivial achievements in scientific research. The aim is to honor achievements that first make people laugh. It retained much of the fun of the live event usually held at Harvard University. As has been an IG Nobel tradition, real Nobel laureates handed out the prizes, using a bit of video trickery. The Nobel laureates handed the prize off-screen, while the winners reached out and brought a prize they had been sent and self-assembled into view. Winners also received a virtually worthless Zimbabwe and $10 trillion bill. Curiosity IG Knighted? Learn more about some of the winners. Get your ducks in a row. Science is fun. My sort of a tagline is you're not doing science if you're not having fun, said Frank Fish. A biology professor at West Chester University in Pennsylvania who shared the physics IG Nobel for studying why ducklings follow their mothers in single file formation. He explained that the behavior is designed to conserve energy. The ducklings are drafting, much like stock cars, cyclists and runners do in a race. It all has to do with the flow that occurs behind that leading organism and the way that moving in formation can actually be an energetic benefit, said the appropriately named fish, whose speciality is studying how animals swim. He shared the prize with researchers at the University of Strathclyde in Glasgow, Scotland, who found that the ducklings actually surfed in their mother's wake. We're often told that copying body language and manner ISMS on a first date are fire signs that your date is interested in you. But according to researchers in the Netherlands, in sync sweating and heart rates are much better indicators of a romantic attraction. In a blind date setting, experts fitted male and female participants with eye tracking glasses and other devices to measure behavioral and physiological signals they found no significant link between physical attraction and copying body language either smiling laughing direct eye contact head nods or hand gestures a stronger indicator of attraction was physiological synchrony in sync sweating and heart rates which they say is, a precursor of deeper emotional understanding. These biological signals, which are covet, unconscious and difficult to regulate, may help people, align emotionally, when they first meet, the researchers say. Read more that sinking feeling Aliska Proshazkova's personal experiences inspired her research on dating that earned her and colleagues the cardiology IG Nobel. She had no problems finding her apparent perfect match on dating apps, yet she often found there was no spark when they met face to face. So she set people up on blind dates in real social settings.
measured their physiological reactions and found that the heart rates of people attracted to each other synchronized. The sex lives of constipated scorpions, cute ducklings with an innate sense of physics, and a life-size rubber moose may not appear to have much in common. <laughs>